Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the Ubuntu app for Windows 10. With the new versions of Windows, it's become really easy to get the Ubuntu app for Windows because it's directly available in the Microsoft App Store. So just click on your Start button and go to the Microsoft App Store and search for Ubuntu. You get the Ubuntu app. Click on that and you will end up on the screen, Canonical Group Limited, um, <clears throat> Utilities, Ubuntu. If you scroll down a little bit, uh, you get this description, of course. And you see here, before installing Ubuntu on Windows or before the first run, please open Control Panel, Visit Programs and Features submenu, turn Windows features on and off, and select Windows Subsystem for Linux. So let's do that. So let's go to Control Panel. Programs and features. So if you search for programs and features in the search bar to the right there, you get this option. Turn Windows features on or off. You click on this. And then you get this pop-up for the Windows features. Just scroll down a little bit. And you will see this option, Windows Subsystem for Linux. By default, you won't have the stick. So put the stick against that box there and click OK. So now you have turned on the Windows System for Linux. And you're then ready to install Ubuntu. course, another thing you can also do is go to settings, update and security for developers, and turn on developer mode. That's another option that you need to have turned on. So control panel to turn on Windows features and developer mode in settings. So once you have done that, you are ready to install this. You can also check the system requirements. If you have something that is not uh, fulfilled, you will have a note here. So therefore, here you have uh, have no notes. It just matches everything. So if you have a version that's older than sixteen two one five, it will be listed here, and then you need to update your Windows. But since everything is fine, I just click on install. and it's downloading Ubuntu. Once your download is complete, you can press your start button, click your start button again and search for Ubuntu. And it turns up here, Ubuntu Trusted Microsoft Store app. Click on it. And for the first time when you open it, there will be some installation procedures or so. But this is what you open. This is the Ubuntu app. And the next time you open it, it will be ready for different operations. So that's the short video here. This is how you get the Ubuntu app. If you have an older version of Windows, I highly recommend that you update your Windows to the latest version. And of course, in some cases, uh, when you do download the app, you will get a different message when you open the Ubuntu app. It will give you uh, a message to visit a certain website, WSL dot something. Like here, you see your username. Please create a default Unix user account. Okay, this one's ready. So uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to proceed from here. Uh, for some users where you don't have uh, this, you will, in the same position as here, you will get a website address. And you need to go there and complete different steps to reach this stage. So in the next video, I will complete this procedure.